Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? It is Tyler here, back again, it's been a while. Um, now I'm doing this video because I haven't done one in a bit. I did that Assassin's Creed Origins one last week, but I have been gone pretty much for the last couple months, and I want to do this video pretty much to explain why and what's going on and what's the future of this channel. Is there a future to this channel? Because uh, I've had a lot of questions, I've had people telling me, just quit YouTube, Tyler, you suck. And I'm like, yeah, f fickle. No, um, and I've had to do, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of, not soul searching, that's the most corny thing I could say about it. It's not really that. Look, at the end of the day, I've been gone because I'm in my final year of my university degree. It's been crazy, and obviously I work a shitload. i got to pay the bills, keep a roof over my own head here, so... My life has always been quite insane and busy ever since I, I moved out, you know, out of my parents' place and started university in Melbourne. And it's only gotten busier and busier and busier. And yes, I've been able to keep going the last two years. And now in this third year, the past six months has been such a struggle and so tough. There's so much been going on in my personal life and at home and work and at uni. And I just haven't been able to keep track. It's, you know, it's caused a lot of shit really, at the end of the day, and I've had to give up things I love to do, and YouTube was one of those things I had to, you know, put on the back burner, obviously Kill Connor Club's still around, and uh, obviously I'm paying attention to what's going on, but I haven't been able to produce content, make content, you know, even think about videos, I haven't really been, I guess the word's inspired, to make content, and to create new videos, so I haven't even had ideas of what I want to do, because I see what, you know, James... Ethan and George are doing, they're doing such an amazing job covering Assassin's Creed. I'm like, well, what can I do? What do I bring anymore? I have to ask myself that question. Um, what, have I, what have I got to give to the community? I, I don't know sometimes um, that you aren't getting somewhere else, you know? And I had to ask myself that question as well. And I'm, even though there's been opportunities, maybe I could have made a video or two, I sat back and said to myself the last couple of months, you know, well, if I'm going to come in and make a video, what am I going to say that's different? What am I going to bring that's different to everybody else? What am I going to bring that's better than everybody else? I don't want to make videos just to be subpar, that guy that's okay at making videos, that has an alright opinion. You know, I'm always going to be real, I'm always going to be me, but I want to make content that's not just entertaining, not is that's not just a reflection of myself but is also at a very high standard and I feel like when I watch someone like James I see the work he puts in I see the time he puts in I see the results that come out of that and I think to myself well can I do better than that and at the moment with everything so busy no no, I, I, I cannot do better than these guys. They're making content that is so good. They're putting so much time in, so much work, and I'm so proud of them, like, because these guys are some of my closest friends in the world. So it doesn't hurt. It doesn't make me feel bad about myself. I'm just like, look, it is what it is. I just don't have right now the capabilities, the time, or the patience to produce content at the level I want to produce. So if I can't do it at the level I want, then do I do content right now? And the answer has been no, not really. At the moment, I want to do videos when I can. I want to do videos, uh, you know, they're going to be infrequent. But at the same time, I've got these huge plans for the future. The channel is not gone. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, this year, for the next... I've, in four and a half months, I'll be done with uni, I'll finish my degree, and that's when I plan to, you know, plot my return, and really come at it with a new lens of ideas, a new concept for what I want to do in each video, and something I really want to sink my teeth into, I've done YouTube for five years now, and... I have loved every second of it, and it's not something I've put all this work into that I'm going to give up on just because I get busy. I'm not going to give up on it until I get out of it what I want, and I knew when I started what I wanted out of this. I didn't think I'd get this close to it, 
you know, at the end of the day. Did I think I'd get there? I wasn't sure. I knew I had the potential to. And now that I'm so close to doing what I've always wanted to do, I'm not going to turn back now when I know I'm, I can do it. I know I can do it. So when I finish, I'm really going to give this a real go when I get back to it. In the next four and a half months while I'm still at uni, will there be a lot of videos? And there's not going to be a lot. There's going to be videos for sure uh, when I can. I've got a couple of ideas just to keep something consistent coming out that I want to do. Maybe just the hope will probably be like a video a week. And there's a kind of idea I have for that and how I want to present that. And I really have been trying to practice, train, learn the best ways to make high quality content to, I'm not going to say compete with, you know, the rest of the guys in the community, but kind of, you know, they make their content at that high level and it just brings everybody else up. It's brought, you know, what James has done has brought George's video quality up. It's brought Ethan's video quality up and I've got to do the same. If I sit back, I'm, there's no point in me being around if I can't meet these guys and, you know, deliver at a, a similar level to what they're delivering. And I haven't been doing that. And I do apologize. But, you know, at the end of the day, life gets in the way. I've got a lot of things I want to do in my life. I've got a lot of plans for the future for myself that has nothing to do with YouTube. But YouTube is a part of that plan in the future for me. I've been setting goals for myself. Setting my, I've always been a planner of the future and I've been setting myself like a two-year plan in the future, a five-year plan where I want to be, what I want to do. And on that list that I've written of plans I have for the next two to five years, YouTube's involved in that. It's not the biggest part at, by any means, but it's involved in that. And I am not going to give up on it yet. Will Assassin's Creed be the focus of the future of my channel? Uh, I think it'll always be... It'll probably always be a part of the channel, uh, and for now, it'll be the focus, but when I, what I call a relaunch of the channel, which will probably be by the end of the year, early next year, I want to relaunch the channel completely, um, with a new look, new style, just kind of really bring what I know I can bring to video and content creation, and with that will come new focuses. It'll still be video games. But there's new games I want to talk about. And like I said, looking at the other guys in the community making these videos, I know I can meet them in quality. I know I can do videos just as good as any of them can. Uh, and with time, but the real question comes to my mind is what can I do to be different? And if I can't do something different, then I'm going to move on from Assassin's Creed as my main focus. And I don't care about the subscribers. I don't care about the money. I've never cared about the money. I've never cared about the views. I just care about delivering the best content I can, honestly, in, in, in as serious as I can be about all that, that's the truth. And if it means getting barely any views to start a new focus on a game, then that's what I'm going to do. And if people don't want to watch my videos because they're not all about Assassin's Creed, that's cool too. You know, it doesn't actually bother me at all. I just want to make videos that make me happy. I just want to make content that makes me happy. And that's what I've always done. And when I do that, that's when people enjoy it the most, I think, and when it's, I drift off, is sure when maybe it gets more views, just because I'm trying to focus on videos that get views, but they're not as well received, so I just got to focus on my passions, I've got to refocus on what I want to do in the future of this channel, and uh, I've got a lot of thinking I've been doing, i got a lot more thinking I'm going to do, and at the moment I'm just going to do videos when I can, I've got a couple of videos in the pipeline and just go from there at the moment. I just want to keep you guys updated with what's going on in my head, what's going on uh, with the channel. And I'm sorry that there hasn't been a lot of videos recently and I'm sorry there won't be a huge amount of videos in the future for the next couple of months. It's just the reality. I just want you guys to know what's going on with my life. You know, I've only got a couple of months left and I'm done with uni and studying for the, hopefully the rest of my life. So this is a big point of my life and when I started 2017 I had one goal and one goal only and it was to get my degree that was the only goal if I did that it didn't matter what else happened in my life so that's my focus and after that I can go back to enjoying the things I love to do because it's not just YouTube I had to give up there was so much stuff that I love and enjoy that I haven't been able to put my time into because of it so I look forward to finishing off this degree I look forward to the future of this channel but to keep you guys in the loop of what's going on, I'm sorry I haven't, I should have done this video ages ago, I really should have, but I just haven't even wanted to, in all honesty, I just like, 
have had this disdain for making videos, like it's gonna, you know, take up so much time and stress me out when it's not, like this is what I love to do, so I'll get back to it, I'll be back, don't you worry about that, and the future's bright, I think, uh, but at the moment it's a bit dark, uh, short term, dark, long term, good, so that's me, that's my thoughts, I didn't expect to say all of this, I really was just gonna tell you why I've been busy and why I haven't done videos and move on, I wasn't going to tell you anything else, but that's my thought process, I guess, yeah, it's like a fucking video diary or something, this is so weird, such a weird video, um, yeah, and James, by the way, I'm wearing a jacket inside, James, because I know you're watching this, and you're like, Tyler, why are you wearing a jacket inside, and I'm going to tell you, it's because it's cold as fuck, and, uh, I've got no heater in my room, so I needed to wear my jacket, so fuck yourself, um, and yeah, that's about it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching the video, if you've made it this far through. And uh, I'll be doing some more videos, origin stuff and whatnot, and hopefully finding a way to do a weekly video. There's an idea I have for it, just to keep myself consistent until the end of the year, and then go from there. Uh, so we'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys in the know, and don't forget that this weekend, this weekend, no, it would have already happened, but if you haven't watched it already, Kill Connor Club episode 50, that's right, episode 50 with the four pillars, that's James, myself, George and Ethan, will be on James's channel, I'll leave a link to that in the description down below, whether it's the event link or because it, I don't know when I'm going to release this video, whether it's before or after, it'll probably be after the podcast to be honest, so if you haven't listened to that already, go listen to that, and we talk all things Assassin's Creed Origins, and if you want extra content and you want to get stuff from me, well just head over to patreon.com forward slash as always, just one dollar, become an as always member, every week you'll get a podcast from myself and James, whether that be the Kill Connor Club on his channel, or at Patreon we do the Kill Connor Clubhouse every week that the Kill Connor Club isn't on, plus any extra updates, bonus content, things like that, early access, all that sort of cool jazz, that's over there. So I'm still around, just follow me on Twitter, just head over to James's channel for Kill Connor Club, it's on iTunes, SoundCloud, all the cool stuff, so I'm not away, I'm still around, just not on this space as much as I'd like to be, but I'll be back anyway, I've blabbed on long enough, I will see you very soon, hopefully with more videos, and keep you guys updated with all things going on with this channel, I will try not to leave you hanging for as long as I have now, so thanks guys, and I'll catch you soon.